fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me What is up, dudes, dudettes, men, women? This is your host, White Stoner, today on YouTube. I noticed all of you guys liked my TNA reviews, and what you just seen there, I was trying to get grab your attention with something different than the same old shit I say before I start my videos. So, that was that. I tried, like I said, tried to say something different. So I did some, I did three TNA reviews of 2008. I noticed you, a lot of you guys liked it, a lot of you guys commented on it. So I have this one I'm going to do. One. One more. Another one. And then I have a tag team one I haven't watched yet that I got, that I can review. And then after that... Um, I would have to buy more because that's all I, all the TNA, TNA I have right now. So a big, um, a big shout out, I guess, to Dan the Beast. Uh, he said this one's rare, so I don't know if it is or not. But this is the first ever TNA DVD I ever purchased. If you go to my Instagram, um. I took the picture and put it on an Instagram. So we have TNA Against All Odds 2006. Um, I don't know. I gotta watch this one again. I don't know what's rare about this one, but Dan the Beast said it was. So there, there's that. And while you're at it, since I mentioned him, go subscribe to his channel help him out um well yeah pretty much help him out he has just about 147 subscribers why don't you guys get him to 200 go ahead do that that'd be awesome so like i said against all odds or yeah against all odds 2006 listen this is my first ever tna dvd i got I got it from Dish Trader for like three thirty three. Discard. Let's get into this motherfucking review. We had a pre-show. Now, there are a lot of WWE superstars I didn't know that were in TNA. We have Ron the Truth Killings. We know him. We know him as R Truth versus K Canada's A One Lance Hog Shark Boy and Cassidy Riley versus the Diamonds in the Rough and Shannon Moore. So, just pretty much the pre a pre show like what we have today. It was it was all right. Now starting the pay per view. We had the Nationals versus Austin Aries and Roderick Strong. Um, that match was pretty good. Alex Shelley versus Jay Lethal versus Petty P D Williams versus Matt Bentley. Again, a decent match. It was for it was an X Division four way match. You know, it wasn't bad. We had the James Gang versus. Latina American Exchange in a challenge match. That one I don't remember too much. But it was a pretty good match. Got to get that water in your system. It's really good for you. You know, off topic... Off topic question, what's what's everyone's favorite water? This members mark purified water. Really isn't my favorite, but it's not bad. So 
my favorite water is the Clover Valley water from Dollar General. So, if you want to know that, there you go. We have the War Machines, the War Machine Rhino versus the Monster Abyss with James Mitchell. And a false count anywhere. That was a really good match. We had a revenge match. Team 3D versus Team Canada. Another decent match. Um, NWA World Tag Team Champions match. So this is when um, NWA was still with TNA. America's Most Wanted versus Chris Sabin and Sanjay Dunn. Um... It was an okay match. We have the X Division Champion match. The Samoan Submission Machine. Samoa Joe. And thank God WWE didn't take that part of his name. Because that would have been just too much to say. Versus the Fallen Angel. Christopher Daniels versus the Phenomenal AJ Styles. So I kind of forgot um, AJ Styles. And Samoa Joe was in this. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, in the main event, we had King of the Mountain, your NWA champion, Jeff Jarrett, the founder of TNA. Oh, if you didn't know that, I bet you did. <laughs> Versus Christian Cage. And obviously, by the cover, you should pretty much know who won that match. Obviously, Christian Cage wins the um, NWA World title. Right there, shows it. Thanks. Thanks a lot, TNA. Giving us a fucking spoiler cover. Ha. Nah, the cover looks pretty cool, actually. The main event was really good, actually. So. So. There's this. And there's that. So. Um, I'm trying to. Get. Um, more TNA DVDs. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But it's going to be a pain. I know that. But, um, so there's your review for TNA Against All Odds 2006. And my letter grade is going to be a B plus. So, if this pay-per-view is rare, can someone tell me down below um, why and what makes it rare? So... There's that. And. Um. If you're not subscribed to my channel. Why aren't you? And. Thank you. For all those. I don't say this enough. So. I am very thankful. For all of you. Who stick behind me and who have subscribed to my channel I'm really thankful for all of you it's not the goal number I've wanted to hit which was 300 but I hope someday I can get there and if you are subscribed like I said before please spread my name around so people can uh, figure out who white stoner is so Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave a like. That would be nice. And. Tell me your favorite. TNA pay per view. Because I like. I like talking to you guys. It's, it's really fun too. So. When I ask for your comments. I truly mean it. So I can talk to you guys. Out there. So please go ahead and do that. Leave as many comments as you want. And your host, White Stoner.
is out.